Okay, so hello YouTube, my name is LightFriVal.com and this will be just a quick update on problems regarding uh, BIOSs. Now what I have in front of me is Sapphire RX 480, the original dump which I took off of the chip. I didn't need to, however I didn't, uh, at the moment I, know, I did not know what was the problem. As it turns out, uh, there are a couple of versions of this Polaris BIOS editor. Now I will be opening just to show you the first one. Okay, and uh, now if I open uh, my BIOS, you can see timings are actually perfect, perfectly normal. And uh, if you open uh, RX 480, which is Sapphire, sorry you get these timings and uh, basically this is where things can go wrong because if you save this BIOS and program your cards you will fail and uh, destroy your card and you'll have to remove the chip and flash it because well friend of mine <laughs> tried modifying these settings copying and pasting and uh, yeah everything went wrong so uh, there is this version of Polaris BIOS editor which is Micron Elpida and now if you open the same file in what looks to be the exact same pro program it's not sorry now if you open actually have good uh, timings uh, and there are uh, two versions I believe that inside this BIOS there is probably one more uh, maybe UFI or something like that I'm not quite sure so anyway be sure to uh, these values must be like this and not uh, some random number because if you do um, flash uh, wrong uh, BIOS well not wrong but messed up your card will not boot and you will have shitload of problems uh, because well I had shit shitload of problems anyway I have this uh, Sapphire RX 480 original and uh, this one is uh, modified so uh, i will be posting these two files and these two files 470 original and 470 modded the ones that actually work for me this mo this modded gives uh, around uh, 25 mega hashes 26 25 and this one as well so uh, they will be sorry they will be in the signature down below Anyway, if you do have any questions, uh, please ask. Uh, I'll try to help and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, have a good day. Oh yeah, and just a couple of more things. I will be also placing these two files in the description. Uh, one is called ATI uh, KM Deck Patcher, which is uh, after you modify your BIOS, your graphic card will, not be, will no longer be detected well, it will be detected, but it won't uh, be running, and that's, uh, I believe, due to a signature. Well, problems with signatures anyway. And this uh, patcher will help you solve that problem. And basically, all you need to do is run it, click on yes, and the driver will start to work again. Uh, now, I have this file as well. They will be in a bundle. Now, uh, I actually do, do think that you do not need to copy it into system32 slash drivers, I believe. I believe that this patcher will work but if the patcher does not work after a reboot replace the file in the system 32 then run the patcher and then it will work for sure and yeah that's pretty much it